We are in holiday in London and I've got Councillor Afsal Akta with me from uh, the board of uh, London Waltham Forest. Um, Afsal, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and you, you've been part of this uh, charity and you have uh, raised some funds as well. So as a councillor, uh, it is a very prestigious position. What are you doing? What is your contribution at the moment? My contribution is to raise the plight of the people suffering from the floods in Pakistan. So one of the things I do is attend a number of these uh, events, um, help raise charity, make some direct donations uh, myself as well. But the idea is to get the community together and different types of the community together. So tonight it was about the business community coming together and mashallah the UK PCCI done a, a fantastic collection today. Last week uh, we had an event in uh, Walton South Town Hall which I hosted for David Miliband and we had a Ramadan Iftari where we worked with Muslim Aid and raised some money. That was a different crowd of people so inshallah if we all uh, get together, uh, get different communities out and get them to put their hands in their pocket, um, we should be able to uh, lessen some of the uh, issues that there are in Pakistan. We can never do enough because this is an enormous calamity but we can do our little bit to help. This is a month of Ramadan, it's a month of sacrifice and I would encourage all your listeners and all your viewers to actually do a little bit more, sacrifice that little bit more and give more than what they usually do to help our brothers and sisters in Pakistan. Fantastic. And uh, the other thing is that, uh, like, you know, obviously, you, you don't only have the, this uh, community circle, but you also have an approach to the elite class, you know, the, uh, the politicians, the, uh, the biggest business community, wider community. Uh, what, what are you doing? Like, have you passed your message to them? Are you uh, trying to raise some collections from uh, our uh, major politicians in the uh, United Kingdom? Well, I'm proud to be a, a, a proud Pakistani British person here because uh, I think the UK has contributed more than any other nation at the moment um, to help people on there. I was with, like I said, David Miliband last week. He's a firm uh, uh, supporter of Pakistan. He's encouraged people to collect. I've been speaking to Baroness Vasi and other political leaders as well to see what they can do um, to help. I'm at the moment in the progress of launching a new organization um, which will be looking to lobby and campaign with international countries and foreign aid agencies to see how we can bring them together in a single voice and find a way to help Pakistan long term to actually restart and rebuild Pakistan um, and the areas that have been affected by the floods. Okay, I also have one more question. Uh, the, there's, there's some uh, uh, media campaigners who are uh, saying that you know the world want to help Pakistan but the image of Pakistani politician is not uh, uh, good enough and they don't want to support, support because they don't think that you know the uh, the uh, aid is going to go in the right hand so what are you doing as a councillor to uh, make that image better Look, I'm encouraging the community not to look at what they think has happened or what they know has happened, okay? There's many different ways of providing aid to help the people of Pakistan. Yes, you can pay into the DEC, which is the government fund here. You can give money directly to the Pakistani government as well. But you can all yourself as Pakistanis go to Pakistan and with your own hands, okay, with your own eyes, with your own resources, provide direct aid. We all have family in Pakistan. If we, trust the, if we don't trust the government, give the money to the family. I don't care how people donate, okay? My main mission and my main goal, my main message to the people is please make a donation in any way that you see fit so that it reaches our brothers and sisters and they don't suffer as much as they are currently. Oh, uh, thanks a lot then. Thank you. This was uh, uh, Councillor Afzalakta from uh, Waltham Forest. And uh, he has uh, passed a very good message that, you know, it doesn't matter what the people say. It doesn't matter if you think your money is going to go in the right hand or not. Don't stop. We have to help. We have to put our hands together and we have to give money. We have to donate. We have to do whatever we can do, regardless of uh, thinking that, you know, if the money is going to go to the right people, because what is count in the uh, in the uh, on the day of judgment is our niyat is what we wa it's if we have done our job or not if the people do not give this money to the right people if our aid does not go to those who deserve it then it is not between us and
and Allah. It is between us and it is between Allah and those people who misuse this money. So do not think that you know. Uh, do not stop that you know. Uh, your your money will not go to the right people. It, it will not go to the deserving people. Just carry on helping because it is a matter between you and your God. Because what God has, God says that you know when you give from one hand, the other hand should not know that you know you have given anything. So just keep quiet. Just do uh, uh, take silent steps to give money, donate money, do your part. And this is the message for today.